Oh, I'll just give me a second. Got just the volume again a bit. There we go. So yeah, last time we beat up a giant sewer rat. Excuse me, I need a drink. Namely, we beat up a sewer, giant sewer rat looking for a cop's gun. <laughs> hmm. Said he'll lose his job if somebody besides him finds it. Personally, I'm expecting things to get complicated. Must be an inside view of the purifying engine. Some things are stuck inside. Let's try and get them out. Okay, looks like I can move this thing. So I can phase through myself. That's interesting. Oh, I don't need to push buttons. I can use this. Can I push it this way? Yes. No, no, no. I want you up. Now I pull back. Okay, so I can only move it so far at once. Fortunately, banging into walls doesn't seem to do anything. That's where I want you. Now I reset. Because I'm right here anyway. I apparently pulled out an ad. Okay. Might be in there. Got to push those things to the exit. I think I want this one next. Mostly because it looks like the bigger pain I'm about to get at. There we go. What are ya? A drink. So if one of them's the gun, it's get out of here, you. Hey. Looks like get out of the way. Looks like if I go Wow, that sound is annoying. Uh, I was about to say it looks like yeah, this puts me right where I need to be. Are you a gun? You are a gun. What do we have here? A gun. Let's examine it further. Um, that battery's not full. This thing's fired. Ooh, seems loaded. I should resist shooting it. The gun may be tracked. Who knows what kind of info this could transmit? Uh, I'm noting right now, 89. It's been shot at least once. That might be important later. There's the police logo here. Definitely the one I'm looking for. A serial number. I doubt I could access the police database. It's no use to me. 
Looks like there's nothing else on this that I can make use of. That's probably the trigger, but like he noted, don't shoot. Wait. Ad. Hey, I thought this looked different. Someone stuck a small ad here. I haven't checked what this is yet, by the way. I still think it might be a functional QR code, but I haven't tried to scan it yet. It's dirty. No wonder, considering where it's been. That dirt might be covering something. Any way to remove it? You know what? Does he have anything to say on the battery and stuff again? Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, Nothing there. There's the police look. Nothing there. The serial I doubt I could access. Okay. So. Could I just hanky the dirt off? There you go. Okay. Uh, some initials. RJ. Those can't be Sin's initials. What does this mean? I better get to the bottom of this. Time to return to Sin's and have a little chat. is clear. I bet this is a purifying engine, but I'm glad there's no acid leaking into it. The way is blocked. Hmm, there's some marks here. Seems like the object I'm tracking with. Uh, okay, so can we just leave? They're all gone. Gotta be careful. I bet we'll meet again. They're blinking. Hmm. I could swear I've seen this already. Wasn't it on one of the rats? But where? In any case, this doesn't bode well. Yeah, I think it was on like one of the rat's shirts or something. Anything I could do with this? A still? bunch of very thin wires. After all. Looks like I'm good to just get out of here. Should I enter? Seems like there's an ongoing police investigation. Oh well, I'll just take a look-see. I may yet come to regret this. This place kind of reminds me of Leah's laboratory. She used to be so happy working on those medications. Hmm. But the past is the past. Let's not dwell on that. You put on some weight since your last visit in our stores. Right. Muscles. This is incorrect. We've detected a 35% fat increase. Versus what? He's only been here a day. <laughs> and this is his first time Ugh. here. We've highlighted our special recommendations for you. A selection of products. Looks like I need to press the pictures to get more info. Did you know? Regular food isn't good for you. In addition to being full of salt, sugar, and fat, it doesn't provide you with the specific quantities recommended for your body. The solution is Delastute, a perfect combination of vitamins and energy, swallowed in just one second. And it's yummy. Okay, so it's not synth food. We're actually in a food pill future. No thanks. I don't feed on placebo. Product added to your shopping cart. Hey, wait. I don't want to order that. Product transferred from your shopping list to your wish list. <laughs> Stupid. It's like Amazon. Getting old, losing your hair and your fur. No worries. Youth gain will stimulate your roots to grow it back. Now you'll look young forever. A society based on appearances? Getting older is part of living. Product added to your shopping cart. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, I don't... Ugh. I give up. How careless. Your skin is so rough. Whether you're furry or reptilian, you need to take good care of your skin. It's the only thing protecting you from the elements. Do not hesitate. Buy our soft skin gels to add a protective barrier and make your coating so much smoother and nice looking. That's foolish. 
My skin is supposed to be rough. Product added to your shop. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to try to click on all these because just to see, do I end up with a bunch of random crap thrown at me later? So, are you overweight and feeling the need to eat all day? Stop. Or should we say, stop hunger? This revolutionary powder causes both your brain and your stomach to refuse any food once you've reached your nutritional recommendations. I don't need no stinking powder to know when my stomach is filled. <laughs> Product added to your shopping cart. Man, you're such a ball of nerves. How many times have you heard this? Time to remedy it with Calmees E. Combine these capsules with your Medi Live Health so they can get gradually diffused into your body as you need it. Who's a ball of nerves? Not me, that's for sure. And remember, the first step towards a good relationship with others is acceptance. Shut up, you <laughs> stupid contraption! Product added to your shopping cart. <laughs> Again! Perfect. I just want to see where this stupidity goes. <laughs> Made with salt extracted from corrosive minerals from east of Serain, this will stimulate your body to remove excess fat and get a fit, Socially acceptable body. Wow, we're not even hiding it now. Acceptable, huh? <laughs> Congratulations. To reward you for checking all of our recommended products, here's something special for you. Ow! Well, okay then. And I'm probably never going to use those. That's a bit like putting a cherry on top of a rotten cake. Diet pills, non-diet pills, and more pills at first glance i can't see what could have possibly happened in this place traces of i'd say attempts to force open this drawer yet the drawer is securely locked i can't imagine the managers would let this damaged drawer remain exposed to the customers this must be recent i guess i found the reason for the police investigation someone tried to get what's inside still that doesn't concern me i think Looks like one of those ad bubbles. What's it doing here on the floor? Wait, what's that? A camera lens? I see. It must have... Again, I'm actually... The battery is partially depleted. I think it's been fired, and here's something that it might have shot. I don't know. I can't see any impact. Even with a laser gun. There'd be some overload artifacts. Hmm. Yeah. That seems like the most logical explanation. Someone turned it off. And this happened recently. In any case, there's no button or anything to view the recordings. I'll leave that to the cops. Some sort of metallic drawer? Like a safe? I can't see any way to open it. Anti-pollution remedy, the one and only Toxout pill. For your information, your last Toxout pill request was received five years ago. Actually, I don't know why I pressed this button. It's been a long time since the haze had any effect on me. I'll give it to Graf. Wait, no, I just realized. He was married to a drummer, wasn't he? So he would have been living in the dome for at least a little while. There, That's why they were able to say he gained weight since your last visit. He has been here. by staying home more than 20 hours a day. 20 hours a day? Oh, I'd go crazy. Wait a minute. That's me. Height, address, and some graphics of the evolution of my weight over time? Hence why I don't regret my drummer life. If I'm not mistaken, this is an in-depth medical examination terminal. One session costs... 50 units? No point now. Didn't that one guy need drugs, though? Now, how would I... Okay, there's got to be something I can do with this.
to identify any drug or renew your prescription. Put it in front of the scanner. Okay, that's what I need. To identify any drug. Please wait a moment. This medical prescription is outdated. Please update it in an appropriate medical government approved signing device. Update? A piece of cardboard? Great. Where am I going to find a drum or doctor? They require all kinds of health insurance, and it's not even for me. Maybe I can do something else for them in the meantime. Hmm. can't reach it from here. I need a way to bring it down. So out of idle curiosity. Nice. An ad coupon. Gotta occupy all available space to display ads, huh? Huh? We're sorry. It appears you don't have enough units. Would you like to pay with credit? Only 40% interest, spanning any length, according to remaining lifespan estimates. Hey, I didn't pick any product. Your shopping list currently has many items. Wear it! Drop it! I don't care! Just get me out of here! <laughs> this action requires you to unsubscribe from automatic payout. Are you sure? Yes! Very well. You've been unsubscribed. But remember, you can subscribe again at any moment to make your life easier. Yeah, yeah. Make my life harder. Goodbye. <laughs> so that's how it ended. Okay. <sighs> so we need to go back to Sector 56 now. Slums are falling apart, but without any money, nothing is going to get better. What kind of future is ahead of us? Hi, not RJ. I found it. The gun? You got it? Awesome! You're a lifesaver! Wait. I'm not giving it to you. Yet. What? Why? My investigation brought up some questions that need clarification. I'd like you to explain a few things. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Hmm. That medicine analyzer at the pharmacy. They don't match him. There was a guy found in the streets nearby. Was it his? I can't see. Okay, it's not like that. Wait. See this? Yes. My remote control. So what? Oh, I forgot. What is it for? It's for changing my bed position. Oh, is that so? Didn't you say this was for your tablet? Oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, it can do both. Huh. Anyway, my friend told me something quite interesting. See, she thinks that's a police device to remotely disable cameras. <sighs> okay. I admit, that's true. Then I just confirmed you're a liar. Are you stupid? That's police equipment. Civilians aren't supposed to know about it. Hmm. Have you ever used it? Not recently. All right. Then tell me. Weren't you patrolling near the pharmacy last night? Yes, I told you. Then what? Get to the point already. An incident occurred there. The pharmacy camera had been deactivated. I suspect this little thingy could be responsible. I... no idea. Why would I do such a thing? You tell me. You're testing my patience. I said I didn't use that darn remote control, got it? Did someone steal it from you? Aside from you, no. Okay.
Interesting. Okay, worry about the gun, but it doesn't match. That gun ain't <clears throat> yours. Huh? Of course it is. I got it when I was recruited onto the police force. Then explain those initials. R.J. Well, yeah. Another agent got it before me. Who? Is that important? It must be the agent who went into retirement before me. I can't remember his name. That's not all. The identifier code has been scratched beyond readable. How do you explain that? I guess... It's not brand new, you know. He must have worn it out during his missions. Hmm. I should Stay go back here. to the pharmacy. Huh? Where the hell's the exit? There we go. All right. There's one hint we didn't pick up, and it's something about the pharmacy. That's not unsettling at all. Please insert your unused products in a slot to recycle them. Don't forget, you can also dispose of them through your pipe pill at home. Error 0x5421. This function has been disabled in the last firmware update. To perform a medical examination, use the nearby terminal instead. If you meant to analyze medicine, Scan it with the panel right below. Oh, oh, oh. Right, we took a pill from Sin, and this can scan meds. Please wait a moment. So what is this? This is a Starix 500 pill. This treatment is prescribed in case of extreme anxiety, insomnia, and emotional outbursts. Due to high concentration, this formula is restricted to individuals with a risk of dangerous behavior to relatives. We're hoping this isn't for a close friend. If so, make sure to give them the appropriate support. Anxiety? Dangerous behavior? Why did I find this at Sin's home? Does he need those? Warning. High dosage greater than one pill a day has a 99% chance to cause blackout and or comatose state. And we found a cop sleeping in his underwear with no idea of what he was doing. What? To reduce this side effect, oh dear. this pill always needs to be taken alongside a cow knees ease. Don't forget. In case you're not wearing your MediLive Health, be sure to always follow the Phi Doctor recommendation. This establishment will not be held responsible for any accident. Hence why I don't trust medicine. Fix one thing, breaks another. Okay. Goodbye. I can run. So we got to get back to Sector 56X. And it's back for questioning. That was the one hint I was missing. And looks to be a quite important one. Oh, let me check something. Yeah, okay. Had this weird feeling I had muted myself. I'm not. Let's resume our conversation. Here's a pill. What's it for? The heck would I know? Really? You don't, even though it's yours? What? You just stole it from me? Actually, I stole it an hour ago. I can't believe it. Well, you better. This is Sterix 500, an antidepressant with an interesting side effect. With a strong enough dose, anyone can fall into a comatose state. Where are you going with this? I almost think you're accusing me of drugging someone. Not just someone. You're insane. Sure, maybe I am. But here's my theory. The merchant girl on your street described a guy deeply asleep earlier this morning in his underwear. She had a tough time waking him up and he couldn't remember what happened, but he knew one thing for sure. He's a policeman. Are you impersonating a cop, so dude? you think this policeman came to see me? Impossible. I haven't had any visits in days. What about the two glasses on that table? 
Since when can we not drink with multiple glasses? I'm going through a tough situation and you're making it worse. Why did I hire you? Now I understand why you were so cheap. What? My prices are too low? Forget it. Sin involved? The link here is too weak to deduce anything. I'm leaning on the idea that he needed the meds, couldn't afford them, and busted into the pharmacy to try to force the drawer open. Maybe these two. is melting. Okay, there we go. That gun ain't yours. Wouldn't it make sense that it belongs to the cop you put to sleep? Those are big accusations. Stop with the mindless assumptions. I'm fed up with all that crap. Give me my gun back. I'll take it by force if I need to. First, I won't let you. Second, your insistence confirms my suspicions. <laughs> uh, you're just trouble. Darn it, what do you want from me? The truth. Oh, the music picked up. leave this. You know what? Eh, not yet, not yet. Well, I'll see if I can go without him. It wouldn't be surprising that Sin would drink to relieve his stress. Or nothing contradictory here.
Okay. Okay, the drawer and the camera. You know anything about what happened at the pharmacy? Only what you told me. That someone deactivated the camera to steal something. I didn't mention any robbery. Well, that's only logical. But what else could it have been? True, except nothing seems to be missing. However, someone attempted to force open a drawer in the back. Do you know what's stored in there? No, and I couldn't give a darn. So you weren't involved in any way with the pharmacy incident? Enough with your questions. Mind your own business. You're the one who asked me to investigate. Not on me personally. This is irrelevant. I can't trust him. The pharmacy incident, the drugged policeman, the gun's true owner. All the evidence points towards the same direction. You're no policeman, Sin. You're a thief. No, that's wrong! You don't have any tangible proof! Maybe I don't, but the police would. Look, I have an idea. If you're telling the truth, it shouldn't be a problem if I ask the cops about your identity. Wait! Don't do this! You just don't understand! I'm... <laughs> You don't leave me any choice. No oh boy. How many glasses do I have to throw? <laughs> Could you not? There we go. And more health. Stop, please. I'm sorry. You win. You were right. You read me like an open book. I'm a thief, a low grade criminal. But I did it for my daughter. Your daughter? Yes. I just want to see her again. I made a huge mistake. Or at least, I think I did. A week ago, my wife found videos of me with another woman. The truth is, I can't remember it. Think you've been framed? <laughs> Don't know. Maybe. Any enemies? Not that I'm aware of. The videos seemed real. I concluded I must have been drunk one night. Well, in any case... She was furious. She made me leave home. She warned that I should never come close to her or our daughter anymore. I tried to reason with her, but to no avail. Not seeing my wife anymore is hard enough, but my daughter too. Women can trigger hopping mad, but that's a temporary setback. Not this time. She's a journalist, you know. Knowing the truth is of the utmost importance for her. And I definitely lost her trust. I attempted to talk to my daughter at the Consciousness Center. That made her totally mad. She threatened to start an expel procedure. Expel? I would lose my qualification and access to the drums. So, you're a drummer? Yes. Well, not much longer, I guess. I had no choice. I left by myself to come to this awful dump. Well, no offense. None taken. But why the stealing? I thought about this situation thoroughly. I just can't live without my sweet little girl. I can't. So I had to go back and reverse what happened. I'm afraid the past can't be changed. You're wrong. 
there is a way. I could get her back. If her mother would forget this incident. Can anyone really forget such an important event? Yes, with oblivion. Oblivion? This medicine was invented for critical situations. Victims of a trauma. Kids losing their parents tragically. It has the ability to suppress select memories days after they occurred. Of course, the government kept it secret. Having this rolled out to the public would have dramatic effects. Also, that's just disturbing. I spent entire days searching for a solution. And I finally did. A hacker lived in the apartment next to mine. After some convincing, he shared some leaked reports. Oblivion was mentioned, as well as locations where it's stored. I had a policeman friend, RJ. He regularly patrolled around one such location. That pharmacy? So you drugged him to disguise yourself and steal the medicine? Exactly. I desperately needed it. What a way to treat your friends. True. But if you had a kid, you'd know. You'd do anything for them. I deactivated the camera and tried to force open the drawer. But then I ran out of luck. A bot detected me and called the cops. I didn't have a choice. If I ended up in jail, my hopes of getting back my daughter would be lost forever. So I escaped through the back alley. What about the gun? In the rush, I took it out from my pocket and threw it in the sewers to get rid of it. But what a fool. I forgot to clean off my fingerprints. If the cops got their hands on it, I'd be done for. So that's what happened. You hired me because you needed the gun back, but couldn't take the risk to search for it yourself. Yes. Now, go ahead. Call the cops. I'm ready. No. What? I won't. The only thing I wanted was to know the truth. Look, we're on the same side. I've got a kid too, sort of. But I deserve it. I attacked you. How could you forgive me? How could anyone? Don't worry about me. You've suffered more than enough, man. I won't tell anyone. And I'll help you get rid of that stinking gun. Really? But I... I lied about something else. I don't even have enough money to pay you. I figured I'd just find a solution. Oh, well, I had a feeling you'd say that. No worries. We'll figure something out later. I... This is... Thank you. Don't mention it. Here's the good... Don't move! Hands over your head! <laughs> you too! You're both under arrest. What? But... Don't bother trying to use the gun. We've deactivated it. How did you find us? Your detective friend here was behaving suspiciously. It was automatically recorded by the system. He led us to you. We took the time to record your confessions behind the wall. That'll save us time. Ooh, sorry. You're darn right to be sorry. This time I got you, pork. Helping criminals is a federal infraction. The name's Brock. You disrespectful weasel. Whatever. Come on, move. Both of you. <sighs> that's the end of chapter one. Mm. Whoa! I'm late! Take a seat. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. If I denounced, could I have made it to this? The director will arrive in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. In the meantime, feel free to do exercises at your desk. Psst. Hey, what? Huh? What's going on? Where are the others? I'm not sure, but Stubot said Mr. Fenton has been promoted to another center. Don't you think that's strange? What is? Well, first it was our polyrectical teacher who became clinically depressed. Then our eco-manager started having health issues. And now our algorithmic teacher is transferred elsewhere. Something weird at the school. All of our human teachers are gone and replaced by bots. <sighs> nah, no conspiracy there. You watch too many liveies. They're just replacing the staff with bots to optimize cost. They're becoming less expensive over time, while us humans are much less reliable. Don't you feel concerned? It sucks, but we should be thankful to have been accepted here. 
Would you prefer one of those crappy slum kids centers? It's our only chance to become drummers, to live under the dome. You know, I think going off what happened to me and what I heard from later, one of the uh, high school I was at tried to pull a stunt like this to replace their students. I know. I worked hard enough just to get a place here. Still. Basically, they were letting them run amok so that they could expel students and bring in younger, more docile ones. Go ahead, sweetie. Take a seat. I heard about it from... Because I eventually got kicked out because I used to have anger issues. And a friend of mine who was still there called me and let me know what was happening. It was just... Oh... Hey, I told you. Don't call me that in front of everyone. Students, I have some rather major news. As Stubot must have informed you, Mr. Fenton has been promoted and will not be coming back. This incident and some previous others have implied unforeseen changes to the management. It has been decided that your final trials will be advanced to this week, starting now. What? Now? But Afraid you won't pass, stinkies. Shut up, baby robot. Quiet, please. The trials will span across three days. In addition, your science fair invention will be rated and counted for the diploma. As the only students choosing this career path, all four of you will be constituting one group. Stubot here will serve as standard meter to evaluate your performance. Meaning? You will pass if you get a score equal or better than Stubot. Keep in mind, though, this is not a competition. You basically just said it is. Yeah, right. The trials are split into four parts, each counting 25 points for a total of 100 points altogether. The first part consists of a series of exercises you'll be doing now. Any questions? Ott? I've got a major problem. From tomorrow, I'm supposed to start my internship at the police station. I know. We've decided to do you a favor. You'll be doing tomorrow's trial in the evening after everyone else. What? But... No, but... Remember, getting accepted into active society as a drummer for kids like yourself means substantial efforts. You must be willing to make sacrifices. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Huh. All right. The exam starts now. There you go. I'm stressing full steam now. Out of the way, please. Okay, I'm apparently just him now. Before starting, please check the rules by pressing this button. When you're done, press the upper right button to submit. Good luck. Rules applicable for this year. This exam and all related trials are part of the process to validate your acceptance as a first class citizen. Drummer. This judge is strictly reserved to slummer children who will become adults, 16 years old, this year under penalty of exclusion. Respect your partners. Damaging others' belongings is forbidden. Immediate exclusion. Repeated absences. First class penalty, 40 points. No cheating allowed. Second class penalty, 5 points per offense. No phone usage during the exam. Third class penalty minus two points. Outside of these cases, tricks or moral moral are allowed. Outmatching ours is encouraged and will help you in your future life. But remember, it's not a competition. Copyright Enmer Technologies. to see it change. I don't mind the director. I've known worse bots. It, it, she does the job. It just feels weird that it's supposed to be female. We rarely see any. Clearly the best district of the slums. I'm glad I was accepted here. I can't wait to get my diploma and become a drummer again. The director's kid. Even though his mother is a robot. Don't ask me how that's even possible. All I know I was is about to. I, hate him. I 
best friend. Or more accurately, my only friend. Ah, isn't the best student in this class, but maybe he's got some answers. I can't believe I even thought of doing this. What's wrong with me? I can't afford to lose my only friend. So our performance will be measured to this bot guy? If there wasn't the risk of getting excluded, everyone would be trying to eliminate him. Some inventions for the fair this afternoon. If I had known the rating would count for the final exams, I would have made something less crappy. Must be Clay's invention. Man, it's huge! I call it the brainwashing instrument. It definitely works well when we're young for fast learning. Like memorizing an entire book, but the effect doesn't last. Only scraps remain after a few hours. I barely use it. It's so painful. got a limited account. I can only keep a small amount of money. Anything over 50 unis automatically goes back to Brock at the end of the day. If I press this button, I can request some money, though. An algorithm makes the decision. Hey, thanks again for dropping by my place. Parents and I don't get many visits. I'm glad you're my friend. You know how the others are. Don't expect this to change when we become drummers. one uh it's this vert minus the one behind it so this should be 11 If we go by adulthood, we know the thing said, the rule said 16 is adulthood. Let me make a second save. I might need to do a little finagling here. Because we saw this, but I forgot when exactly.
124. Okay, notice both of these are going up by two. Okay. yellow, green, blue. Reggie Biff. Thirty thirty five AR, okay. Do something a little funny. Hmm, must be an and some things are stuck. Let's try and get them out. For now, this doesn't matter. I just need to go check something. They're all gotta be careful. Almost 30, 26. going? Have you finished your test? Um, not yet. I'm all cramped up from sitting in this chair. Please sit, or you'll get a penalty. <sighs> okay. I don't mind the direct. It just feels...
I don't even know what to do about this one. How many could I? Okay. Starting, please check when you're done. Good luck. Hmm, Invention. Man, it's mm -hmm. I'm completely out of ideas, so we're just going to give a non-answer. I hope it's okay. Very well. The results should appear in a few seconds. Oh man, here comes the stress again. None of you got a perfect score, however. Clay submitted fast enough to get two bonus points. Eh. You will get the correct answers on your phone in the evening. That's all for now. The fair will take place right here. Deliberation will occur at 5 p.m. Thank you. Great job. Thanks. Well, too. we did enough. I'm sure I answered everything correctly, but I still couldn't beat Clay. Don't worry about it. You'll get your diploma and become a drummer. We'll pass together. Of course we will. Hmm. I wonder what Brock would say about all this. I'm pretty sure he's having fun right now. Being a detective must be so cool. Hmm. Hey, Ott! Wait for me! So I gathered a few clues. I had suspicions, of course, but... A detective gotta trust his clients a bare minimum, you know? And 
This is when I realized that sin... Shut up! Ugh. What a chatterbox you are. Sit. Wait a minute. The interrogation room? How perspicacious. Aren't you supposed to interrogate Sin first? Uh-uh. In due time. Sit! Ah, uh, okay. Man, those cuffs sure are tight. What is that noise? They're not really necessary, you know. Don't be a child. This is the procedure. Yeah, procedure schmeagers. You haven't changed a bit, huh? After all these years. This is irrelevant to the case. So, what am I guilty of? We'll determine that. Uh, I don't feel comfortable with this robot watching us. Why is it here, anyway? To perform technical requirements such as recording and testing the equipment. Just ignore it. Starting. What's hmm? this contraption for? The procedure? Enough with your procedure, Drivel. I have the right to know what this is. Fine. That's a lie detector. What? I thought these weren't reliable enough to... The engineers have made remarkable improvements. False positives are now reduced to 0.02%, which was deemed an acceptable rate. As such, this equipment has been recently approved by our government. A very precious asset. Calibration in process. Subject needs to stay still. A word of advice? You'd better not lie. Or what? That thing's gonna electroshock me? Uh, no way! Is this even legal? Calibration over. Perfectly legal. I could show you the description of the law, but I'm not even sure you can read. <sighs> I've been to school. For a few years. Shall we start? Listen carefully. I will ask you ten questions. For each one, you've got exactly ten seconds to reply. It is highly recommended to give the first answer that comes to mind. Our only aim is solving this case. If the device detects a lie... Let me guess. Electroshock? Uh-huh. Glad I don't have hair then. It would be such a mess. Starting timer. All right. First question. What is your name? You know Gotta go quick. Inspector. I'm not inspector anymore. From now on, call me Commissioner Wes. Oh, okay. Inspector. Uh, Commissioner. This question is meant to provide cross-checking for fine-tuning end results. I still didn't hear your name. Oh, uh, yeah. It's Brock. Are you sure? Of course. Last name? It's just... Brock. Subject now registered as just Brock. Ah! No, I meant... Uh, forget it. Next question. What's your job? It's obvious. Private detective. Uh-huh. If I remember correctly, you used to be a boxer. I ended my boxing career right after the fighting pits were closed. They got replaced by virtual arenas. Give it a try. You can make a lot of money. Oh, well, I wouldn't dare to participate. They're illegal. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> the subject seems nervous. Sweat has increased by 50%. Should we add a new question to the queue? That won't be necessary. Uh... Next question. Why did you become a detective? And handyman. Whatever. After Leah's death, I... I couldn't get over it. You know. Of course. I was in charge of this case. I figured, if I become a detective, I'll get a chance to find the culprit. Someone has to pay. So this is revenge? Uh, I'm not sure. Much has happened since then. But you never found any clue. No. I hardly have time to focus on that now. But I'm not giving up hope. Hope is a hard concept to grasp. It doesn't rely on any factual data. Hence why you'll never be more than metal scraps on feet. I can sense hostility coming from this subject. Let's move on. Next question. What relationship do you have with Sim? He's... was my client. Uh-huh. He was looking for something he lost. 
The gun? No need to explain. The conversation between the subject and the suspect has been fully recorded as evidence number 2563. So, you know everything. What's the point of this whole interrogation? I'm the one asking the questions here. Focus. Tell us how you met. He tried to call me, endlessly. I believe he found me on the triweb. I've seen his searches. Uh-huh. Next question. What have you been doing this morning? My investigation. Be more precise. I went to Sin's home, then to the sewers. Oh, and before that I crossed the border to check the alley in the pharmacy for clues. Uh-huh. You crossed the border. Oh. Uh, you know, I used to be a drummer, so... You still have access. This isn't acceptable. It should have been revoked long ago. Should the main database be checked for this record? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Record found. Revocation request. There is no availability right now. A ticket has been reserved. The process will be performed as soon as possible. Estimate 58 hours and 35 minutes from now. What a slow process. Well, never mind. As long as it's done. Good. That leaves me some time. You mentioned the sewers. Uh, yeah. The gun left tracks that led me there. Tell me about the squealers. Their leader and a few of his minions wouldn't let me pass, so... Hey, but... How do you know I met them? A wild guess. They've been causing a lot of trouble lately. You just confirmed our suspicions. Yeah. You need to do something about them. They're acting like it's their territory and everything. In due time. Next question. How do you think we should handle Sin? Put him in prison. Uh -huh. For your information, they won't allow free, and I'm not killing him. The device was up to 90%, close to shock reactor when the subject replied. Looks like even you don't really believe this is an appropriate solution. Well, why not? Give him some time to think. That's what prisons are for, right? I thought you'd be better aware of our system by now. Prisons are only there for one reason. Give us time before passing judgment. Incidentally, the government is currently aiming to reduce judgment calculation time. When this process is finalized, prisons will be deemed unnecessary. There are only three possible outcomes. Get freed, exiled, nor assassinated. We prefer the term eliminated. Wait a sec. A machine decides whether we live or die? I'm aware of the data thingamabobs to help with the investigation, but what happened to only a human can be judge? This point is still being debated inside the government, which doesn't make sense. Machines don't commit mistakes. They're neutral. Says who? Commissioner, we've got enough elements for this question. Uh-huh. I agree. Hmm. What a world we live in. Next question. Have you ever murdered someone? Uh, Please reply. No, I've never murdered anyone. That's interesting. What the? That's impossible. I'd never, I, I couldn't kill someone in cold blood. There's something wrong with your contraption. You gotta believe me. Uh -huh. Unless you're considering bots. You've killed bots? They can't be killed. They're machines. Uh -huh. Let's be more specific. Have you killed Leo? What? Answer the I question. figured he's feeling guilty about that. That's why he got shocked. No, of course not. Say it aloud. I did not kill Leo. The data is confirmed with a 99.998% probability. See? Your stupid machine agrees with me. Uh-huh. What does this have to do with sin? You can complain later. This interrogation isn't over. Last question. Who did you really kill? I... Uh, can't remember. Hmm. See? No electroshock. I told you. Must be something wrong with your machine. Uh-huh. Possibly. We agree with the subject. The data of this interrogation is of contradictory nature. Very well. This interrogation is over. Stopping timer. Not too soon. Wait! 
What's up with those last questions? They're totally irrelevant to Sin's case. We do not disclose our work methods. Oh. I see what you're up to. You're still blaming me for her death. That case has been closed years ago. It was an accident. Then why? Why are you bringing this up? We didn't have this powerful hardware at our disposal back then. I just needed to confirm some details. Well? Satisfied? Uh-huh. What I believe is... Not important. You'll have time to think about it in custody. Custody? But I thought you understood I had nothing to do with Sin's incident. Maybe not. But you sure have your share of problems. Anyway, the investigation AI needs time to examine your answers. Investigation? AI? You mean an artificial intelligence is going to solve the case by itself? Please tell me we're not being judged by ChatGPT. Uh-huh. Most of it. This is outrageous. Actually, you know what? Excuse me for just a moment. Twenty twenty two. Now I was just checking when this game came out. A couple of years on it, maybe before the big AI boom. Hmm. I'm weird outraged. coincidence then. Do not worry. You're not a suspect for these events. There's not much to solve anyway. This case is crystal clear. Is it? Sin could have been framed. Very unlikely. Let our algorithms do their work. We will release you as soon as possible. The sooner the better. <sighs> Agent X-598, please start the analysis and tell Agent Ray to come in. Yes, Commissioner. Hmm. Come over on this side. Uh. That's a blind spot. Huh? Mm -hmm. Listen, I hate this as much as you do. Those AI reliability algorithms, figures and everything, a bunch of crap. No robot should be making decisions in our place. You don't say. But the law is the law. I'm the commissioner here. I need to follow orders. From who? You ask me, chief? Yes. Please take this man to a cell. Okay. Hey, you're a cat? Uh... Don't be foolish. Surely even you can see he's a reptilian. Yeah, but I hate cats. Allergic to cat fur. Yuck. Enough. Screw up one more time and you're fired. Okay, okay. You've changed, Chief. Never threatened me before. Go ahead. First cell. Take a shower. What? In... Front of you? This is a dry wash. No need to take off your clothes. Oh. Germs elimination in progress. Process over. That was fast. <sighs> oh. How did I get into such a mess? <sighs> Graf would be ashamed of me. <gasps> oh, the fair! I forgot! He's gonna kill me if I'm not there on time. 4 p.m. I can still make it. Gotta be there. No matter what, let's find a way out of this rat hole. There. Mine's all set up too. Say, Graf, I'm intrigued. What does your invention do? Well, this, my friend, is going to solve our water shortage problems. Partly. Wow. Hmm. Don't tell me this is a moisture recycler? Almost. Then, let's say, does this turn rainwater into drinking water? Nope, but you're getting hotter hot. So, are you going to tell me? You first. OK. It's also a solution to our everyday problems. Just less crucial. Is that a sock? Yup. This is a socks auto pairing machine. Put all your favorite socks inside, and it automatically matches them according to size and color. Is that really useful? Well, my parents forced me to do their laundry. So tiring. Wait a sec. That doesn't fit the theme, does it? The theme? Yeah, converting. 
What? There was a theme. Afraid so. Oh no! That means I'll lose half the points. At least. How am I going to? Hey, Porky and Kitty. What's this crap next to you? Hmm? No way. Don't tell me. These are your creations? Back off, Clay. Now's not the time. Oh, they're really yours. Well, no surprise there. Garbage boys can only make garbage. What did you call us? Still, I'm curious. You gotta know your competition, right? What's that piece of rubbish, Kitty? Tell me. No. Ah, uh, come on. I'll know sooner or later. Then wait. Ah! Spit it out, or I break his neck. Hey, are you crazy? Stop it! You're hurting him! I'll stop if you tell me what this piece of crap of yours is. You win. This machine transforms urine into drink. That's water. what I was thinking. Huh? Oof. Are you serious? <laughs> urine into water? This this is ridiculous. It works. You'll see. Wait. You expect someone to try your machine? There's your piss in it. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. I'm sure he's never had to drink polluted water. Okay, okay. I'm convinced. Let me try it. What? No! Oh, don't be like that. He's gonna break I'll it. just press that button. Here. What did you do? Ooh. Too bad. It's broken. I... Uh, I'm going to... Graf, don't! No. I won't play your game. What? You won't do anything. If you harm on. We'll ask your mom for a DNA search on his clothes. You'll get banned. <sighs> Man, you always ruin all the fun. That was just a little joke. Oh well, I'll be on my way. Just one last thing. Don't even bother fixing it. What? Who knows? The same accident might happen again. If you dare, I, I'll crush yours. Hmm. Stubot, activate. Eh? Hello, sir. Please watch over my invention. I will. Hey! You can't use Stubot like that! Of course I can. He's material for the center, and the center belongs to my family. Isn't that right, Stubot? Okay. Ta ta for now. The sun is shining. I'll get some due rest. What's his problem? He's the director's favorite, and he always gets the best marks. He doesn't have to act like that. You don't say. Look what he created. Hmm. Oh, so sleek. We're in trouble. Your invention doesn't fit the theme. Mine is broken. And I'm starting to have second thoughts about my choice. There's no way we're gonna win this. Don't listen to him. It's an amazing idea. It's too late for me. But we can fix your machine. Possibly. But you heard his threats. Besides, I wouldn't feel right if you helped me pass while you fail. Oh, don't worry. I'll catch up with the next trial. Hmm. But he kind of already failed the first. There's another way. Barely, at least, but... Remember, we're evaluated according to Stubot. What if we, let's say, use their machines? You mean, messing them up? Like he did? I'm not sure I agree with this. You're right. We're not like him. I'll just fix my invention and hope for the best. But I can't afford letting him break it again. You could watch over it. No, there's got to be something better. Some kind of protection. Giving a shock if he touches it. Hmm, I've got something for you. What's that? A force field. It defines a perimeter. By connecting the right stuff, you should be able to get the result you want. I had to use several for my machine, but I had a spare just in case. You're sure? Yeah, take it! You should hook up a detector and an operator on the NUB ports. That's perfect! You're a genius, Ott. Nah, geniuses don't forget the instructions. I'll be around if you need me. Okay, thanks a bunch. Well, to be honest, this solution is a bit convoluted, but this trial is crucial. Anyway, let's get started. But let's go back. Oh. 
I'm unsure what all this is supposed to mean. Some fur. Now where did this come from? Oh, I know. I had it on my clothes when I showered. It got stuck in the drain. Who knows? Might be useful. That's going to be with me all game, isn't it? Nope. I can't do this in front of strangers. Go ahead. I could care less at the moment. I wasn't referring to you. No visitors detected. Hmm. What do you want? Seems like the big and dumb type, but appearances can be deceptive. Ten to one, you have no idea how the security works for this cell. Sure I do. That energy barrier is solid. Can't get anything through. Not even a toothpick. What's the camera for? Are you watching us? Nah, ain't got time for that. See those ears of mine? If you do anything suspect, no matter where I am, I'll hear it. Then, what's it for? We got your body scanned. If the camera detects you trying to get out or anything weird, poof, the alarm. All right, then. Let's say, what would happen if the camera was cut off somehow? Duh! The barrier is still there, you dummy. You need to touch the panel to open it. And you can't. The touch panel. It detects fingerprints? Nah, just a switch. Anything can push it. Thank you for telling us everything we need to know. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, out of reach for now. Yep, it works. Detected. It's useless. Hey, Sin, you okay, man? <sighs> yeah, I know. It's tough, but I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get us out of here. You'll see. I'm tired. Don't mind me. <sighs> he got me into this. He's not gonna pay me, and I might miss Graf's bear because of him. And yet, for some reason, I can't get myself to hate him. Listen, pal. I'm sorry for what happened. Why? Why are you sorry? I'm the only one responsible. I got you involved in this mess. I robbed a pharmacy for precious medicine and miserably failed. I deceived my old pal, RJ, and intended to drug my wife. But you did it for a noble cause. No, it was all for me. I'm selfish. And now I'll pay the price. The Triangle should give me the death penalty. The Triangle? Yeah. The members of the government get to decide the fate of prisoners. Wes told me it was an AI. No. The AI does the investigation. The final judgment is in the hands of the Triangle. And with all the evidence they've got, it's over for me. I refuse to believe it. You're a good person. Wrong. You can't understand. You're nothing like me. Oof. Yeah. Ears popped. I'm probably worse. Huh? Forget it. Who's RJ? Over there. The guard. Oh. He may be a bit simple-minded, but he was my friend, and I deceived him. Any chance he might, uh, not hold a grudge against you? What do you think? He threw me in the cell like a bag of potatoes. He said the inspector was on the verge of firing him for being tricked like this. Great. Okay, so he hates you now, but I'll need him for my escape plan. Can you make an effort? Not sure what you mean. Just call him whenever I ask you. Okay, whatever. You said you felt guilty for involving me in this? I am. 
then, may I ask a favor? Can you press a button on your panel? Why? Just curious. Whatever. Tell me which one. The first button. No visitors detected. Five against one, this opens my cage. Why is it on the wrong side? <laughs> Can we talk? I'm not sure I should insist. Look, I'm not a psychologist or anything, but what experience has taught me is to hold on to your best memories and dreams. Life out here is more often crappy than not. You can decide to drown, or you can fight to make it better. Not only for you, but for everyone important around you. You deserve a second chance. Just uh, don't do anything you might regret. You've got a daughter waiting for you. <sighs> I want you to promise me. What? Promise me you won't do anything stupid. I... <sighs> yeah. Say it. Scream it. Ah, uh, won't you leave me alone? Be honest with yourself. You think your life should end here? Like this? Yes! <sighs> no. You... You're right. I want to see her again. If there's any chance. So? What will you do? I... I'll fight. Louder. I'm gonna fight! There. But... I need some time. Of course. Hey, look! Catfur! This'll get us out of here. Great! He's gone insane. You'll see. Stay here. As if I had a choice. Combining these together... <laughs> nope. I like make a clog. I'm trying, I'm trying. Some weird signs I'm unable to decipher. Do they expect prisoners to have a math degree? Uh, Graf or Shea would probably understand, but I don't have their IQ. Oh well, I'll find some way to escape anyway. Page one, advice for good behavior in jail. In order to simplify our jobs and increase your chances of release, you're invited to adapt good societal manners. In particular, one stake. Device has outdated firmware. Please update to read the rest of the story. Do you wish to perform the update now? I bet it breaks this. Go ahead, but you better be quick. Update in progress. failed error 0x8544125 restarting now with default firmware you got to be kidding me the book download serve this closure means that prisoners mm -hmm. can no longer make purchases in the bookshop however it is still possible to access most of your purchased books for a limited time until access has been definitively shut down. We sincerely thank our loyal customers for supporting the shop. No visitors detected. Hmm. Timer? Or visitors? Huh. Fortunately, it's stuck. Jails aren't what they used to be. I need your help. Can you press another? Ain't got nothing better to do. The fourth one. Call RJ? I wish I didn't have to, but... Okay. What am I gonna tell him?
Hmm. Tell him there's a problem with your sink. Is there? No. Just keep him busy. In that case, I'll turn on the sink first. You're kidding me! I'm not clear. I don't want to talk to you. Ever! My sink is broken. Can you check? Nope. It's not. Are you sure? I could swear. Got perfect vision. That sink is fine. Buy yourself new eyes. Uh, uh, we'll need something more obvious. Later. I'm tired. Oh, put some you cat fur on top of the sink. Can we talk? Can you? Yeah. The fourth one. Call Arjun. What am I gonna? The sink again? What? My sink is broken. Can you check? Nope. Are you sure? Got perfect vi- Buy yourself. Uh, uh, we'll need something more obvious. Later. I need your help. Can you- Yeah. Second- What's wrong here? Seems like. Yep. A bit resistant, but no doubt. This is a hole in the laser barrier. Not the first time I've seen that. I'm glad this technology is far from perfect. Makes my life easier. Can we talk? Can you? Yeah. Maybe the... Hey, I can access... Let's... What are you fiddling with? Look, I was able to open it from this side. Open what? A trap door. At the back of the sink. This is our exit ticket. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think I'm unscrewing something. Aha! Uh -huh. Now it's leaking water. Perfect. And we got the capper on top, which will screw him up. Help. Can you? Yeah. Call him about the, the sink. Fourth one. Call RJ. What am I gonna? T the sink. Ah. Well, that's why you messed with it. Yep. <laughs> What? My sink is broken. Can you check? You won't get me with that stupid excuse. It's true. Look. Uh-oh. If the boss sees this. Trouble. Okay. I enter and fix that. No move. RJ dropped his hat on top of the sink. Hey. Well, he's busy doing this. No talking to prisoners. Darn. Huh? Where's the cat? A cat? Don't play dumb with me. I'm a roux, not a cat. You should know that. Weird. Fixed. Oh, cool, I guess. Don't bother me again. No visitors detected. It's useless. I don't have any visitors. Let's try it. Can we talk? Can you? Yeah. The fourth one. Call RJ? What am I gonna... This again? Gotta what be something I do with this. Be? Nothing. I didn't move. Hey, well he... No talking. Darn. Here you go. Cat fur in the hat. Oh. Magician. Yeah, that sink is... What the... Huh? My neck to... Head... Spinning... Hell of an allergy, what? dude. No 
No time to explain. Get out! But... No! Alert! The barrier... is back. Oh, great. All this for nada. Now I'm in even more trouble. At least the guard is out. Does this change anything? I need your help. Can you search RJ? Why? Maybe he's got a key, a weapon, or something. I prefer not to touch him. My situation just became even more embarrassing. Sorry. This one's on me. Wait. I'll let you know when I need you. Can we reach anything through defect? For now, at least. No. Can we talk? I can no longer make him push a button. Wait. I'll I found something. I can't believe it. Better look again. I always miss the ads. There you go. Nothing left. I need your help. Wait. I'll... Whatever's in there must be valuable, hence why it's protected. happen if someone pressed it though they stored my stuff in the top left box and the next one it wouldn't fit the only exit apparently I, I... no visitors detected hmm Timer? Huh. No time. A dry shower. Nothing beats the relaxing contact of water. No space to insert anything. Nothing to touch or pick up. My sink might not be a crucial part of my escape plan after all. Nope. I go ahead. Like, how is it? Hmm. Can we talk? Wait, I'll let I'm done with that. Five against one, this will why is it on the A lot of idle curiosity. Does this do anything? Sure has a lot of HP. So, could I do anything if this breaks? That stops at 10 8 points. Oof. I'm just trying to break stuff. I don't 
look like I could break the sink. The toilet has no HP bar. What about this? Yeah, that one stops. Okay, that's funny, but not helpful. I need your help. Wait. Can we talk? Hey, look, this'll get a great. You'll wait. I'll let you. Detected. It's useless. Why is this doing that? <clears throat> that doesn't do anything. No visitors detected. Hmm. Need your help. Wait. Some weird signs of money. <sighs> oh well. Okay. We need to turn it to this thing so it all goes away. But it just showed no me what I need to do. Detected. It's useless. One, two, three, Debug four. Mode activated. That voice. Did something happen? Some weird signs. I'm... Oh well. Okay. The book disclosure, however, access weasons. Corrupt. Corrupt. Hey, a digital ad. to free my body. What if I hit this thing? You 
useless. I can't break that camera like this. No! I'm free! So close. Oh, and one camera down. There we go. Bye bye. I'm free. Go ahead. It's open. No. Huh? It's a mistake. I've got to stay. I need to atone for my sins. But, but. You're not responsible for anything. But me, I'd become a fugitive. <sighs> what are you waiting for? Go. Okay, but I'll come back to visit you. Right. Just be careful. Always. Okay, we're out. Not without getting my stuff. I'll get back my thing. Darn. They kept the gun and other things. Hey, that's a collectible ad. The ad I popped up earlier. Three bots. Cameras on the front. They won't see me if I'm careful, but one bot is guarding the exit and won't move. What should I do? Too late to go back. There's only one exit. Too dark. I can't tell if anyone's inside. Intruder. I think we fight our way out. That'll do. Always the troublemaker, aren't you? The game is up. Hands over your head. You can't stop me. You're stronger than I thought. And fortunately for us, not very bright. I've been asked to keep you alive. I really can't understand it after what you've done to him. Well, doesn't matter. The final plan has started. I have the situation under control. You better cooperate, or else. Okay. I don't think we're making it to the bear in time. What a mess. I need to fix this quickly. Melted plastic could work. Hmm. If only I had some. Hmm. Do I have a reason to use that brainwashing apparatus? Hey, Ot. Any idea how I could fix my invention? Well, you built it, didn't you? You should know better. Right. I think melted plastic could fix the glass. Do you have some? Afraid not. Sorry. That's okay. I'll figure out something. Thanks again for the force field. Uh, how do I use it again? Hey, I thought you were the most clever out of us. <laughs> well, uh, just kidding. 
Connect NUB peripherals on the base. I think you'll need two. A detector and an operator. Yeah. In particular, I need something to detect wrong intentions. Got a clue? Hmm. Some fingerprint reader, maybe? Yeah. As for the operator, anything that can provoke a shock. Is it really necessary? Definitely. I don't trust Clay at all. People always give him a funny look due to being a mixed breed. I couldn't care less. He's the only person I can be confident with. So, your internship starts tomorrow. Yeah, it's quite exciting. I'll get to work with a real policeman. My uncle is head of the police station. I admire you. I'd be so stressed in your situation. Why? I'm like a fish in a bowl. As soon as I get out of it, I get all anxious without control. Actually, they'll probably stick me around the protocopier all day long. But I'm still looking forward to it. You're okay? Yeah. I mean... I know what you mean. But really, it's fine. If I don't win this, I'll catch up later. You always seem so confident. Even in the worst situations. That's because I've known worse. <sighs> Sorry. I know you've had your share of rough moments, too. I'm more concerned about the present situation. Gotta go. No worries. I'll stay here to watch over our inventions. Thanks. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? Fine. He doesn't have much conversation. This might become important. Learning about bots selected. <sighs> Whoa! There's so much to learn about robots! I need to stop. <sighs> oh, that thing is always so painful. Hey, what do you think of this trial? I will win. How can you be so certain? I was designed for it. <laughs> Says that, but he's in dead last right now. And it's supposed to represent the average student? I'm glad not all bots are like this. There's no point in talking to that soulless machine. Where should I go? Hmm. I know. I'll pay a visit to that crazy inventor. Maybe she can help. What a smell! Good thing I'm used to searching through trash. Anyone can get poisoned. We don't want to mess with that. Um, hello? Miss Shay? Um, maybe I should get closer. Whoa! What was that? Crap! Oh, that bloody junk is busted again. Hey, watch your tongue! Uh... Oh, no! Oh, the voices are back. Oh, I shouldn't have quit my treatment. Eh? Hey, I'm right here. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> you're right. I prefer that. Now, where was I? Wait, won't you help me? Oh, you need help? Why didn't you tell me? I... Never mind. You're Brock's stepson, right? Graf? It's been a long time. Yeah, I'm surprised you remember me. Been busy with studies. And that's why I'm here. Who needs studies? Practice is the best way to learn. And get injured, apparently. Anyway, can I ask you something? Well, my mind reader isn't quite ready yet, so... I guess it's fine if we resort to talking. A mind reader? For real? Just a prototype. <laughs> I had to stop working on it. I was just thinking, yeah, she, she'd have one. I couldn't bear hearing my own thoughts. Like echo on a phone, you know? Um, anyway... Brock and I visited her once for getting help with my homework. That's how we met. Usually I prefer doing everything myself, but this was too important. Just like now. To be honest, I wish she was one of my teachers. By any chance, I need some kind of device to detect wrong intents. Maybe 
a fingerprint reader. I know it's very specific, but... Wrong intents. Weird. I've got a feeling I built a device like this, but I can't put my finger on it. Look around, maybe? Will do. I've set up a force field. What could prevent someone from accessing what's placed inside it? A short circuit. Mm, wouldn't that be dangerous? Not really. The force field would diffuse the shock all around, so it's safe. Unless you have a congenital heart malformation, in which case, you'd die sooner or later anyway. Um, very reassuring. Just keep your eyes open for any sparks. The slums are filled with broken devices. Right. I better go. Wait, if you see Brock on the way, give him that. Earbuds? Earbuds? I've reversed a pair of hearing aids to block out all outside sounds. You can do that? Amazing! My sensors have detected Brock as sleep deprived. I forgot to give it to him earlier. Huh? He was there? Yeah, this morning. Hmm. I'm sorry to ask, but he's out all day and night but never tells me anything. What business does he have with you exactly? Well, let's say he's doing errands for me. Among other things. Other things? I'm sorry. He made me promise not to tell you anything. <sighs> Obviously. He doesn't trust me. He's got his reasons. Yeah, right. Excuses. Always more excuses. Listen, I'll discuss it with him next time, okay? <laughs> That'd be great. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, back to work. Whoa! That vehicle is awesome! You mean the vacuum cleaner? I take it back. Of course. Everything here is dirty and messy, except... The trash can. Nothing catches my eye. I really don't have time to rummage through this. How lucky! A food incubator! Brock hates instant meals. He never buys any. I'm sick of eating the same old vegetables and fruits every day. Some food reconstitutes. Baked diamond fish eggs with sauce. Tarantula chops with balsamic reduction. Sounds tasty, but there's a serious lack of cheese. You eat cheese? Yeah, the best ingredient in the world, <laughs> don't you? What do you take me for? A mouse? Right. I couldn't imagine a mouse inventor. You know, I used to have a cat that really, really liked cheese. Gross. She could go hand in hand with my old man. Oh, it's full of small parts. Let's see. Mm, no, it doesn't seem anything will help me right now. But I'll definitely come back to it for my future projects. I guess something dangerous is in there? What are you talking about? There's no danger inside my garage. Not so sure about that. And why the symbol then? Oh, <laughs> that's the anti-intruder detection system. It's outside, not inside. Obviously, that makes a huge difference. Wait, how does this work? If a visitor presses the door button with the wrong intent, it unleashes a counter reply to make sure they can't enter. It's perfect. Can I borrow it? Well, if it's very valuable. I spent a lot of time. Oh, please. My whole future depends on it. All right. Brock asked me to deactivate it anyway, so go ahead. But leave the saw. Uh, that saw was the counter reply? I'll have to replace it with something softer. By the way, several people are going to use my machine. I should only target one person. I can't take the risk to hurt anyone from the examination board. Easy. Put that person's fingerprint on it. Hmm, that won't be so simple. Oh, this bot's yours? Yep. Brock found it for me. He did? He insisted I take care of this one because it was about to get dismantled. Who thought he could have feelings for robots? Believe me, your old man is packed with feelings. Good or bad ones? Depends if you're on his side. <sighs> Can I have the screwdriver? What's the magical word? I don't know. My parents didn't live long enough to teach me. Don't say things like that. Although that's a valid point. Okay, you can have it. Awesome! Your enthusiasm for a simple screwdriver is wonderful. I wish I had a childhood. What, what do you mean? A normal childhood, anyway. I'm afraid time goes only one way. Hmm. Who knows? Graph? Did I allow you to wander around all my garage? Well, no, but you're gonna do it. I'm sorry. This part is private. Okay.
So we have one part of it. Great. What am I doing here? <sighs> Got lost in my thoughts again. I shouldn't wander too far. No use. I already took my tox out pill today. Hello. Oh, hello, young man. Man? Well, you're no longer a kid, are you? Um, yeah. So, you're... Selling a lot of stuff. Anything you're interested in? Just looking. Talila Day. What? It means you've come to the right place. Might you be lost? No, I'm just, uh, forget it. Denante, feel free to look. Is this... Yes, this is the Untale. Do you want a statuette? No, I don't believe in this. Be honest. I see it in your eyes. You're curious. Here, let me give you this one. What? No! I can't accept! No credit, huh? Look, this is a defective one. I wouldn't be able to sell it anyway. Okay, thanks. Denante. What am I looking at? Hopefully no one sees me with this. They might think I've turned into an Untel fanatic. I guess that book is... The Untales. A collection of guidance verses. Lessons transcribed through generations. It's just stories. Fairy tales written by someone ages ago. Then, what do you believe in? Science. Of course. Everyone does. Tell me, why are you here? You obviously have no interest in our beliefs. I, uh, got it. I'm out of here. Wait, please. You know what science did to us. <clears throat> we can't live without it now. But that doesn't mean science should be the only thing we have to believe in. It wasn't science's fault. It was the wrong people using it for the wrong reasons. And what will prevent this situation from happening again? Understanding. Perfect. And for this, you need an open mind. That's why you're here. Even if you don't realize it yourself. Yeah, right. Denante, take your time. What? Huh? Selling without license is forbidden. Oh no! The police! I surrender! I surrender! Please, don't hurt me. Explain yourself. It's true. I'm just selling goods to make a living. Explain yourself. Well, I had no idea I needed a license. Explain yourself. Huh? I've already told you. Oh boy, oh boy. Explain yourself. Something's wrong. This drone must be bugged. It's gonna shoot at any moment. What should I do? <laughs> Okay, he too can fight. Jerk. Could you not? There we go. Okay, his level's separate. Denante! You've saved me! You were amazing! I guess. Yes, you were! Now we know what brought you here. Right. Anyway, bye. Wait, don't go. You deserve a reward. I'm good. Nonsense. You're obviously looking for something. You know what? Take a good look at my stand. I'll give you anything you want. Hmm. Okay. A bunch of lathers some weak minds dive into to fill the holes in their miserable life. One is enough. You're still here? Of course. I'm running a special offer currently. Half price on everything. No th sign quite an antique a 
surprised it still works. A neon. Hmm. shouldn't enter these buildings. Easy. Now, let's see. What the heck? Who designed this mess? What am I looking at? The wires are behind that glass shell. Ugh, it's stuck. Must not have been opened in ages. No use. I don't have enough strength to open it. Hmm. Maybe I won't need to. Looks like the close by digicode. Hurry, it's half erased. Power. The info phone, I guess. That's a power battery filled with gas. A very old model. That's a power. What am I can't access? Looks like I can disconnect this wire. Looks like the close by. Let me see now. Is this the? Whoops! Whoa! What's wrong with that info phone? There must be a short circuit running inside that button. It's dangerous. Though, I doubt anyone would be stupid enough to touch it. Yeah, I've always dreamt of getting... I'm worried about the risk. Let's see if I can pull this button out. That damn near killed me. See, I'm just tracing a wire back. It looks like. Wires are going. Is this the? Okay. Yeah, I've always. Oh, I see. I also gotta get rid of this white one. Is this the good one? Did this work? Thin wire. The white wire. Wow. So and what else could possibly need? Looks like the close by digicode. Is this? Oh no! No one will be able to get inside now! And I can't put the thumb wheel back! Ugh. This would unhook a Is battery. As I can tell, I want to unhook the info phone. It's off, but still risky. Now, how do I take that button? I can't really get a grip. Let's see if I can... There! Whoops, everything came off. Well, at least I got my button of death. And it's even got a nub connector. Perfect. There we go. Beggar, don't look at him. Keep your eyes to the ground. Hello, my boy. Oh, no. Please wait. You live here, right? With the detective. Mm. How do you know? 
Are you spying on us? I better call. Look at me, boy. Do you really expect that from an old geezer? I'm alive right now because your dad stood up for me against squealers this morning. He's not my father. <laughs> Leave me alone. Fine. Farewell. Hmm. Maybe I was a bit harsh. After all, I could be in the same situation if it wasn't for Brock. What did Brock do exactly? Long story short, I owed money to the squealers. They were ready for payback. <laughs> He gave them quite a beating. Did he? Offering help and risking his butt for free. That doesn't sound like him. Maybe you don't know him that well. Well, I know one thing for sure. In the end, he always either gets fooled or screws everything up. My boy, the result never really matters. Only the intent. If you say so. Hello, my boy. I'm afraid I don't have much to offer, but... Do you need anything? Hmm... I'll let you know. Very well. I'm not going anywhere. I can't, anyway. Mm, must be hard. Not what I wanted to do. Hey, that's my favorite chip music band. They're giving away some stickers to promote their next tour. Nice. I'll take one. My very personal and totally outdated computer. Nobody uses anything that big. But that's all I have, so I gotta stick to it. Probably not the right time, but I could play in the virtual VR arena. Oh, Let's now. see. Uh, is that flower? What's that doing here? I must have used it for some project. Some clothes, pen and paper. Nothing will help me right now. No, everything left from my past is in there. I promised myself I won't open it until the day I leave this place. Home, hideous home. The walls aren't even at right angles. Rock cut my bed in order to make it fit in the room. Mm, maybe just a nap. Get the missing HP back because I was damn near dead. I can't afford only clothes, bed sheets, and things like that. The examination board will be here any minute now. No time for rummaging through this mess. I'll take another. Such a mess with his stuff. But how could it be any different? He pretty much works all day. Only coming back for sleeping and eating. Oh, and cooking. He loves that for some reason. Not my turn. My stomach is in a knot. Eating can wait. Music and me don't see eye to eye. I chose science over art. Though I love AI chip music. Everything's rotting in here. I hope I don't become like this plant. I think we've done about all we can here. Maybe Brock could, but me? I can't force it open with my bare hands. No time for... No time for... I know this one. That's an old model, about 30 years old. The poor thing has been torn into pieces. No useful parts for me, unfortunately. Please confirm your identity by pressing the touch panel. No new mail. Good. Detective and handyman. He should add, I'm never home. Don't bother knocking on my door. Hopefully I'll get my diploma and become a drummer again. I wouldn't want to desperately look for lousy jobs like these every day. Although, Brock doing those lousy jobs is what's currently keeping us fed. Anything up here? I don't have time to play. Fire. Hmm. Does fire invoke something to you? N no, I'm just surprised. It'd be 
hardly need to make a real fire nowadays. Things change. In my time, everyone could light up a fire. Sometimes for necessity, often for fun. Then our society told us what to think. Don't make a fire, it's dangerous. Don't drive an air car yourself, it's dangerous. Don't go mountain climbing, it's dangerous. Every potential threat got banned. What's wrong with that? It's obviously for safety reasons. Safety? No one is safe in the current world. Not here, for sure, but drummers are safe. Are they? I wonder. <clears throat> Hmm, do I need to burn anything? Isn't this plastic? Um, I don't want to burn that. Wait. May I? What are you doing, my boy? Burning that holy symbol. Ah, I forgot. To me, it's just a plastic figure. I'll take my chances. If it's important for you, go ahead. The statuette has melted. Good. It's still hot. I'll use that old piece of cloth to wrap it. It's all sticky. Better use it fast before it gets hard again. I didn't intend to use that stove anymore anyway. Oh no! I'm truly sorry. I didn't realize I had sullied it. Let me clean it. Don't waste your time for an old fool. No way. My old man always says. It's never too late to do the right thing. My mistake. I'll fix it. There. Like new. Thank you. Now go. Goodbye. Okay. Do the trick. Now I need an operator to give a shock to a certain someone. What could fit that definition? Yeah, that should work. But I better put that force field on. There. The force field perimeter should extend just enough to cover my machine, but it's not active yet. The trap is set. Okay, though the operator will be useless until the force field can detect intruders. Great, it fits. The force field should spread the detection so it's not localized to one point, but everywhere around. Good. Only one problem left. I need to target clay exclusively. Convert stinking odors into energy which powers the wheel and generates perfume. And here he was mocking me for my invention. They're similar after all. Well, save for the aspect. I admit it's well crafted. This idea stinks. But that won't make it spin any faster. Auto-pairing socks. A useful invention, just not what they asked for. I feel bad for him. Oh! There are some ants in there! I bet this converts their footsteps into energy. Kinda ironic. The only one of us who involved a living being is a robot. It's not really innovative, but still pretty cool for a robot invention. The converted energy is stored here. You can even hook up a device. Classy. <laughs> Look at him. All joyful after wrecking the project I've spent days to work on. I don't want to talk to him. Only smash him in the face. Of course. I'm curious about those ants Stubot has used. Learning about ants selected. 
Ouch! Ah. <sighs> that was hard. Next time I see ants, I should be able to take advantage of that info. Hmm. For some reason, I suddenly feel hungry for an ant burger. Apparently, it's in detect everybody mode. Not good. I can't take the risk of hurting anyone from the examination board. Shay told me the detector's surface can sense fingerprints. Hmm. The source liquid is added here. It's filtered, then a combination of chemical agents transform it. Residues fall to the bottom, which can be cleaned out with this trap. The reaction takes a few hours. Progressively, tiny drops fall into the glass. I hope this fix holds after the votes. We don't have anything Clay touched. Oh, also, hi, Alden. My thought was, what if I show him the sticker? What the heck are you doing? Um, go away. I need to rest and stop walking around me. My ears are sensitive. Okay, mm, sorry. Uh, why do I even apologize? Wait. Too stupid. In any case, I need a more subtle approach. Ears are sensitive, you say? Still around? What do you want? I'd like to apologize about earlier. Ah, uh, finally, you're making some sense. I'd like for us to take a new start. And I've got a gift for you. A pair of earbuds. You won't be bothered by outside sounds anymore. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute. You're not trying to trick me, are you? Of course not. Look, I'll wear them. See? Hmm. Okay, let me try it. What? I said... Will you remove those darn things? Uh, wait, I can't hear you. There, convinced? Give me that. Hmm, oh, yeah, a perfect silence. Exactly what I needed. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Beat it. I hope I don't regret this. Okay, if this works the way I hope it does. Yeah, but sticking his finger will wake him up. Besides, the handprint won't hold on the sticker. What did cheap detectives do to get fingerprints already? What if I combine the flower with the, uh... Yes, that could okay. definitely work. But first, I should apply flower directly on the surface I want a print of. Okay, okay, so it's, uh... Okay, just gotta be careful. I was heading the right way, just not quite how they wanted it. There, I've applied some flower on his finger. He didn't feel a thing. Then a sticker. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully I applied enough pressure. A print. Hopefully. Which means... Sorry, dude. What? What a relief. Final step. I activate the force field. Perfect. My convoluted protection is almost invisible now. Oh! Is it working? I'll know the answer in a few seconds. Oh no, he's coming back. Uh, what? Hmm, idiot. Stubot, I forgot my socks on my chair. Bring them back. Yes, sir. I told you, kitty. Accidents tend to happen. Again? Yes. Oh my. Huh. Did he have a heart problem? Ew. He's just knocked unconscious. You sure were heavy-handed. He started it. It's almost time. The examination board will be here any minute now. Okay. I did everything I could. Now I just have to cross fingers and wait for my old man. Look, look! My parents! They're over there! <sighs> Unfrozen mode. Mm, shoot! Uh, did something happen? I, I could swear you moved. Oh, a freezing gun. So, am I in trouble? I did not expect you to escape. I have clearly underestimated you. That said, you messed up your cell system, neutralized one of our agents, and violated the law. Well, sorry about that, but it's your fault. I shouldn't be here. 
I just... Shut up. <clears throat> I require your assistance. What? Here's the situation. Hmm. Listen carefully. This is confidential. Due to recent events, I had to fire Agent Ray. Huh? Why? He screwed up too many times. Today, he fell for your tricks. I cannot allow my agents to have their weaknesses so easily exploited. Well, it wasn't that easy. In addition to this, several of our AI agents are out of service. Hee <laughs> hee! Finally! And this is hard for me to admit, but we are similar, you and I. Old school in a technological world. I've told you, I have no confidence in algorithms solving the cases. The only human agent remaining is myself. Soon, I won't have a choice but to rely entirely on those gadgets. I won't let this happen. I've become skeptical about their behavior. I need to keep an eye on those bots. So, I can't keep running this department all by myself. I need your help. That's... unexpected. Certainly glad I'm not the only one who thinks those thingy-mop-ops are creepy, though. Give me some time to think. This isn't a choice. It's a cherry. Huh? A cherry? A cherry. Cherry. Yes. It's a request. Are you okay? It's been a long day. Anyway, as per regulation 14-3032, in case of understaffing, the highest ranking officer can requisition any citizen for help. Hmm? Why me? I've seen your actions today. Despite some aggressive tendencies, you've solved Sin's case remarkably well. You didn't blindly trust your client and uncovered the truth via uncommon methods. I've met so many detectives over the years. You are one of a kind. We've known each other for a long time. Currently, you're the most qualified person I can trust. Ah. Uh... Thanks, I guess? Okay, so... If I accept... It's not your decision. Whatever. What kind of compensation can I expect? None. None? Working for free? But... Only temporarily. You'll manage. Easy for you to say. You're not drowning in debt. This is effective as of now. Immediately? Wait, what time is it? 5 p.m. 5 p... Oh no! Graf's fair! I need to leave! This is an accept. I'm begging you, Graf. He's gonna kill me! I'm no good for you dead, ain't I? This seems like a slight exaggeration. Look, don't care what I gotta do to get out of here. If you prevent me, I'll force my way through. <sighs> <sighs> Alright. You're free to go. See ya. I need a rest. Time to recharge the batteries and prepare for tomorrow. I'm here. You're late. I know, but you see, I had a lot of trouble, so... Hey, wait! Where are you going? 6 p.m. Six new messages and seven missed calls. Oh, no. Wait for me! Graf, please, talk to me. <sighs> Got a message from the school, but I... I need to hear it. From you. <sighs> Simple. They've decided to advance the year's trials this week, and made the science fair a part of it. You weren't there, so I got a zero. Zero. Nil. Nada. Zip! Oh. Look, I'm... Sorry? That's all you have to say? You're sorry? I told you! To be fair, you to he was go. frozen today. You broke your promise! Again! Well, I did come. An hour late! I know. What's your excuse this time? Mm. My investigation took an unexpected turn. I ended up in jail. I had to escape to... Jail? Are you a criminal? Is that what you're hiding from me? No, of course not. I can explain. Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. 
Do you even realize? I killed myself working on this project. Made sure everything worked well. All this work. The hours I poured into it. All for nothing! Because of you! I hate you! Graf. <sighs> Great job, Brock. This time you really blew it. <sighs> I still can't believe it. Because of him, I failed this test. I'll never get my diploma. Forever and ever. I'll stay a lousy slummer. Like... <clears throat> I need to clear up my head. Nope. I can't see anything that'll help. Not now. Hey, maybe Odd is online. Oh, I'm craving some team match game. He's not. Darn. I guess he's preparing for his training course tomorrow. Too bad. I could really use a friend right now. Hmm. Parents ruin everything. By the way, please. Topic. I hate my parents. I'm not the only one. Interesting. Maybe they'll be interested in my own story. I need to find a way to redeem myself. Somehow. Tomorrow, the school. No matter how or what. I gotta convince them to put the blame on me and give him the mark his work deserves. But gotta do something right now or I'll never be able to sleep. It's getting late. Mm. I wish you were here, Grandpa. You always knew what to do for me. Mm. I know. Grandpa always said, eating is the best stress reliever. I'll prepare dinner for him. The best food he's ever had. Nobody can resist my cooking. Now, let's see what I can gather. I forgot. I still haven't gone shopping. This is all I could find. Guess I'll have to make do. You know he likes cheese. Cooking time. I have no idea what and I've just done. Submit. Hmm. Maybe I'm being a little too harsh. When he told me he was stuck in jail, was he for real? Hmm. Probably. Oh, you're right. I should have taken the ant. But why? I don't like this. Flour and I and cheese explain. probably would have worked. Huh? Of course, that's him. What part of leave me alone does he not understand? Graf, can you come here, please? I won't talk about it. I promise. Okay. Look, I'm sorry for... Nah, don't say anything. It's all my fault. But still, I shouldn't have said that. No worries. I prepared dinner. Well, to be honest, I don't feel like eating right now. I just can't help thinking about, well, everything. Come on. No one can think properly on an empty stomach. Please. Okay. Here, let me serve you. Mm. Looks good. You think so? Oh, I hope it is. Hmm. Yep, not bad. I'm glad. We're running out of ingredients, so it wasn't easy to prepare something. It's fine. Hmm. It's been a long time. I mean, since we've last eaten together. Usually I'd either prepare a meal for myself, or you'd leave me a plate to heat. It's not the same. You're right. We should do this more often. Yeah. Hmm. About what happened. Wait. Not here. This time, it's my turn to surprise you. Follow me! Uh, where are you going? <sighs> I didn't expect to climb all the way up here. Won't you tell me where we're going? Right here. I wanted you to see this. Uh, see what? Hmm. Let me ask the question properly. What do you see? Well, I see trash. The polluted haze. 
despair, and misery. Just as I thought. You keep looking at the ground, but you know what they say. Every coin has two sides. Raise your eyes to the sky. The sky? Whoa, you're right. This is pretty. Yeah, it hasn't changed. No matter how much our technology pollutes it, the Earth does its best to remain magnificent. Uh, you and your mom, after we met, we used to go here every evening. Both of us had busy lives, but this was our highlight. Each day, we would spend the little time we had talking. Talking? Really? <laughs> well, most of the time, anyway. <laughs> I... I want to ask you something. Is it wrong if I can't remember her? Not just her, but my father, too. Forgetting my parents. Does that make me a bad person? Of course not. Actually, to tell the truth, I'm the same. I have erratic memories of the past. Sometimes I ask myself, what did her voice sound like? What did her smile look like? If it wasn't for this picture I saved, I wouldn't even recall her face. Yeah, I've checked through all the Triweb. Our family pictures, video clips, documents. They were all stored online in one place. When the national power outage happened, all our files were just gone. As if our entire existence up to that point had been erased. Not just ours, but the whole city. The only memories left are in our minds, and they're not even reliable. You're wrong. Our mind is the most precious and trusty belonging in this day and age. There's a simple explanation to all this. We both went through trials and tribulations. Sometimes our brain tends to block bad memories as a protective shield, so we can keep living. You talk exactly like Shay. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I wish I could remember. You know... I do remember one thing. Really? What was it? You. The fire was still burning. I was laying down outside, regaining consciousness. You were there, watching over me. <sighs> it's been a long time. Look, I'm aware we don't get to spend a lot of time together. I know. Don't worry about it. You're doing what you can. I wish mm. things were different, but I need you to know I will always stand by you. Tomorrow, I'll meet your director. I'll fix everything. You mean validating my rating? Yeah, I will. <clears throat> do you still trust me? I do. Uh-oh. Hello? Oops. If you don't come and speak, I swear I'm gonna... Hang on! I'm on my way! Uh, Who was that? I, uh... I'll explain later. <sighs> Some things never change. <sighs> I'm... Uh, I'm here. Ready. Chill, bro. The fight starts in ten minutes. Huh? But you said... I used my bending time capacity. Bending... Time? You were late, so I jumped back an hour to get you earlier. Wait, what? But that's impossible. Is it? We can imagine it, right? Doesn't that simple fact make it possible? Now you're confusing me. Okay, okay. You're right. I didn't. After all this time, don't you think I've learned a thing or two about you? The only way to get you here on time is to never give you the right timing. Ugh. I fell for it again. Good thing you always seem to forget. Still... Bending time. Wouldn't it be convenient? There are many interesting theories. Yes. It sounds like what she did is call him an hour early, claim he's late so that he'd hurry over. <laughs> uh oh. Here comes Miss Science again. Well, you've got ten minutes to kill now, don't you? Been a long day. I could really use a rest. Oh, very well. If you prefer spending this time doing nothing over enlightening your spirit, that's your choice. Now, let's listen. You made me curious. 
Enlighten me. Good. First of all, let me ask you this simple question. What is time? Well... An illusion. Lunchtime doubly so. It's some kind of measurement? Like, I weigh 220 pounds, and you weigh, um... How much do you weigh? Bro, you're as clueless about women as you are of science, aren't you? Anyway, I see what you mean. Time is a constant, right? For instance, fixing this tablet takes oh, one minute. Just bonk the mic with my water Meanwhile, bottle. While you're up on the trash mountain looking down on my garage, when I'm done fixing it, how much time has passed for you? Well, one minute? Wrong! What? Time is relative. It can vary for different observers. In my example, it will almost be one minute spent for you. Almost, but not exactly. There will be a very slight difference. Maybe just less than a nanosecond. It's especially true when you're higher, thus not subject to the same gravity, like you on the mountain. Think about satellites. The effects of gravity, as well as the satellite's increased speed above the Earth relative to observers on the ground, make their clock gain about 50 microseconds a day. So, basically, you're saying that I could get older faster than you. Exactly. Maybe less than a second faster in an entire lifespan. But the difference exists. It's called time dilation. Does it matter? Yes, because it means one important thing. Time cannot be dissociated from space. You know how every object has three coordinates, height, width, and depth? These are dimensions. Well, time is the same. It's called the fourth dimension. It's hard for us to imagine. Time is an illusion of our mind. If we can move an object into space, why couldn't we move it into time as well? But how do we do that? Not the slightest idea. By moving into space, close to the speed of light. The speed of light? Hey, have you been to school? Ever now that you Oops, sorry. It, Grandpa and I, we often watch the stars at night. He told me that we observe them as they were millions of years ago. Yes, that's because light is an instant. A star's light takes a lot of time to reach us. Right now, how you're seeing me is only the reflection from my older self. Oh, so you're actually younger? That varies according to your perspective. There's a delay. It's so tiny, our brains can't notice. But that doesn't make anyone travel in time. It's just looking. Right, we're standing still. What happens if we move? Say you have a twin. I do? Of course not, silly. One bro is already too much for this world. Hey. But let's assume you've got one. While you're staying on Earth, your twin is traveling inside a spaceship at a very high speed. Years pass. One day he comes back. And to your surprise, he's much younger than you. Hey, that's not fair. But true. The twin has aged much slower than you. Time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move relative to another reference. So, in a way, we can say that the twin traveled to the future. That's fine, but I wouldn't want to go forward in time. It'd be awful. All the people I know would be old or dead. Can we go back instead? Is that possible? Notice what I said. To go into the future, we'd need to reach a speed close to the speed of light. Now, what would happen if we could exactly reach the speed of light? Well, I guess we would disintegrate. Our body couldn't take it. Neither would our mind. We'd go crazy. Possibly, but you're making a common thinking mistake. You wouldn't need to move straight forward to gain speed. A vessel could be moving back and forth, increasing progressively and ever so slightly, that the movement itself wouldn't be perceived by the mind and body. You mean, like our reflection previously? Yep. Space in the vessel would shrink, including all objects inside. You know, I was not expecting to end up listening to a brief history of time tonight. And suddenly, bam! You reach the speed of light and enter a wormhole. Also, who boy has this been going on a while? From there, you get access to the whole world's history. You can land anywhere you want. Or should I say, any time. Exciting, huh? Can you just picture it? Right now, the only thing in my mind is a headache. Uh-oh. 
We may need to go back in time, all right. Why are you saying that? Because it's time. Quick, in the cabin. I guess I'm just doing this now. There we go. Who are you? Um, your opponent? No, it was supposed to be. What? Never mind. Let's rock, Croc. Uh, you, you're a... Darn, you blew my cover. Shay, I gotta go. What? No way, not an option. I... I can't hit a lady. Well, I am one, and I'm telling you, smash her down. Don't be a gentleman. I can handle you. Very well. I won't hold back. Not going as well as I'd like, but we're getting somewhere. There we go. And it's a level up. Let's take more strength. Sorry it came to this. You're a skilled fighter, but don't worry about it. I wasn't here for the money anyway. Then what for? Goodbye. Well, I won. What a day. Done. No one can withstand my fists of steel. Congrats, bro. This should cover some of your debt. Why do you always have to ruin the fun? Well, bye. Hey, you're making it sound like it's an everyday job. Isn't it? I'm risking my life for some credits. Nah, you can't die. What? Why are you always so confident I'll never get killed? Or worse, like this morning when you sent me to hack a border post full of deadly bots and lasers. Or when you set up that giant saw that I barely escaped from. I was lucky to make it out alive. What a silly question. <laughs> That's because I know the... Mm, I mean... I know you. I believe in you. Hmm, okay. Thanks, Shay. You're a great friend. No problem, bro. That's chapter two done. <laughs> this place is dark. Let's move on. Okay. Um, it's almost 11. We're done here for tonight, at least. Uh, that's a good stopping point. Start of a new chapter. Anyway, next week, Dragon Quest 11. And I might only be streaming it one night this week because we've got something special. We might have something special on Thursday. Certainly Friday, we're getting back to co-op, but we might have something special Thursday. Depends. We'll see. I don't want to announce it in case stupid happens.
Meanwhile, let me look. Who's up to something? Okay, Lunar 2. That's interesting. Zolfar's playing Lunar 2. Let's go say hi. So, yeah, like I said, Dragon Quest 11 next week. New co op game Friday. Might have something special Thursday. We'll see. And I'll be back to this on Saturday because this is my Saturday game now. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in a couple days. Later.